What is going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. I'm gonna ask you to please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. So today, I am going to be making a wooden spoon made out of only hand tools, okay? So I have already started by drawing this template and I just marked it on this piece of wood here. And so the tools I am going to be using, a gouge and a mallet, to just clean out the inside. I already started that. Another gr great tool is using this. This is called a spoon knife, okay? This you just kind of use, clean this out. This is for the more detailed work. But for removing big, a lot of material, use this. This is really good. For my main carving knives, these are beaver craft. They're really nice. Um, they're pretty reasonable too, and they've lasted me a long time. So those are the tools we are going to be using and once we get this all cleaned out we will get to the hatchet work cleaning up the outside here so. okay so i got this all cleaned out so next, I'm going to take this saw, I want to notch, put a notch on this side and a notch on this side. why I put notches on each side. This is so oh, we can take a hatchet and a heavy hammer all right that's so we can split this down the handle here and it only goes so far that way it doesn't split into the spoon. So that's a little hack there. All right, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put this in on a little time lapse. So I got about all the hatchet work done here. I got it down right to the handle here. So all that I have to do now, stupid traffic, is just make a line or saw up to here about, chip that off so that the handle can get skinny. Uh, but the rest of it is really just knife work, patience, lots, lots and lots of patience you need. So uh, saying that, I'm gonna do a little time lapse. Okay guys, we got the spoon all carved out, it looks really nice. Um, so now we're gonna sand it down, get it nice and smooth. You're gonna want to start off with a rough 60 grit, you know. 
just to remove that big material. Um, and then we're going to work our way down to a lower grit. Just to make it really nice and smooth so that we can oil it. So I mean, this is where you have to be really careful because it can snap. Just be gentle. I mean, it is starting to get dark on me. This project has taken me like three and a half, four hours now. But it's worth it. I mean, it looks good in my opinion. That, that's just my opinion. But whatever. If you made it this far, one reminder, give me a big thumbs up. All right, everybody. Um, so we got the spoon all sanded all down. It's nice and smooth now. So one thing you have to do is eventually this will dry out and crack. So I mean, if you were to use this for food, then you have to wash it, right? So that's just not good. So the finish I'm going to be using is mineral oil. It is food grade. So what it does, okay, so what it does is um, it keeps the wood wet. And uh, I will show you that. Just a little bit. This ain't gonna really darken it up too much, but this this is gonna uh, make it shiny, I guess you could call it. So, and you're gonna wanna do about two coats of mineral oil. Creds to my sister for filming. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are gonna just gonna leave this sit and dry for like 10 minutes or so. We'll do another coat of this, and I'm gonna explain. This is beeswax. This, you will do about two coats of this also. And what this does is it makes it waterproof. It cures the wood so that you can wash it and you know, it'll keep out fungal issues, you know what I mean? So we'll give this a chance to dry and I will get show you a finished picture once it's done. Okay, turn it off. Thanks everybody for watching this video. Um, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up, hit the bell so you get notified. Um, if you want to see any more projects like this, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Have a great day, and God bless you.